back to Viru Boom, and today we are doing um, how to set up a failsafe on your FlySky FSI 6. So, if you're in your back into your um, transmitter main screen, you hold OK to go into system, uh, menu, and you hit OK to go into system, and you go down to RX setup. You hit that, and you go down to failsafe. Then you'll see it's off on all channels. So for channels 1, 2, and 4, you're going to just hit on and make sure that your stick is centered. Make sure you don't see any bar. Don't see any shaded. Um, then you're going to hit OK. Make sure it's at 0%. So you do that with 1, 2, and 4, and that makes sure that when you go into failsafe, your quad goes into neutral. Like um, the channels 1, 2, and 4, so your pitch roll and yaw will all go into neutral um, middle stick. And then you're going to go down to channel 2. Make sure that one is like that. Okay, and channel 4. Make sure it's at 0. One. Okay, so now you have 0, 0, 0. So you go into channel 13 or 3 now. And that is your throttle. Now, some of these fail safe, or some of these high sky transmitters, um, the throttle doesn't actually settle at zero. So you might want to hold the throttle down while you are doing this. So then you hit up, turn it on, hit OK. Now you should see it at minus 100. If it's not at minus 100, then you didn't hold your um, throttle down all the way. So now you're going to go down to channel 5, and that should be your arm switch. So, oh yeah, I forgot this is a model. So, normally that would be on my, this switch right here. But since this is a new model that I set up, it is uh, on here, on these little knobs. But you would turn that all the way down to where your disarm is, and then you would turn it on. Safe. and then you would hit OK. So that should be at minus 100 or whatever your disarm is at. Then you go into channel 16. And this should be your modes. And you want it to be in your um, your angle mode because then it will self-level. And so you should see 0, 0, minus 100, 0. And then these two might be different depending on what switches you have, your fails, uh, your modes, and your arm. So you want your arm to be down, so unarmed, when it goes into failsafe, and you want your mode to be an angle so that it self levels. Um, then you want to make sure you long hold cancel, and you'll hear a high tone. And that means that it has been saved. It's kind of weird that you hold cancel, but that's what you do. And then you can just go out of that. And now you have fail safe. So um, here's a little test. Okay. So hovering and off. Ta-da! Quick note, it will take a second after you shut off the receiver, or the transmitter, for the quad to fall. So, keep that in mind. I'm not sure if Betaflight does it any faster, but you can do it on Betaflight if you want. Anyway. Anyway guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and um, like if you like this video, obviously. Um, please subscribe and comment on what we should do better, because we're really new to this and what we should do next and also if comment if you want us to do a video on fail safe using beta flight um anyway thank you for watching see you next time